<clears throat> are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we're going, I'm going live. It's not going to be a very long video tonight. I am at my son's house, but I thought I'd, I've been on the phone. We've been praying for people that are very ill and praying for a lady that's getting ready to have a major surgery in the morning for eight hours. And I just want you to please lift her up in prayer. She's in Pennsylvania, but there's just so many. Uh, neat. I'm praying for Houston, Texas, praying and praying and praying and praying for all, not just Houston, but Corpus Christi, uh, Galveston, the whole coast in Texas, in Louisiana, Lake Charles, and all of the Louisiana coast, and all of the Gulf states, okay? Because I know this thing is a monster. Category, it's going to be a Category 1 right now, but it'll be a Category 3. It could be a Category 4. And you know what? It's not the size. It's, it's a fact this thing is so huge that it's going to sit there. And they're, they're talking 25, 30, 40 inches of rain, 20-foot waves, storm surge. Folks, I'm serious. This is a storm of biblical proportion. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. And here we are. Total solar eclipse. Three days later, a storm. They're now calling this the storm of a thousand years. You have to listen to me. People are trying to get out of the Gulf states. It's massive exit and they better hurry. And, you know, BP Earthwatch tried to warn people five days ago. I'm telling you. So this is uh, unbelievable. Folks, I got something right now I got to share with you. I've got some inside information from Bilderberg. And I want to read these notes tonight. I want to read these notes tonight. Okay. The reason it's bright outside at this late at night is I'm in California. So in case you want to know. I'm actually sitting in the car right now as they're trying to put the baby to sleep, okay? But uh, let me read notes from Bilderberg. So give me one moment here and I'll have it. Uh, whoops, I had it right there for a second. Okay, here we go. So hang on a minute. This is inside information. Leaks from inside of Bilderberg. I'm going to read, let me just read it, okay? You ready for this? Quotes from inside the Bilderberg meeting of 2017. This is from August the 14th, 2017, from inside the meeting. Quote, the design of a disrupted crisis must also be done according to procedures. Once the, crypt, once the cryptocurrency system has been deployed, and successfully tested, the collapse of the dollar-based monetary system can proceed as planned. Actually, we are moving from a system based on the gold standard in which the actors do believe that the declared quantities of gold are really what they are told to a system based on al alt alternative coins in which the agents do believe secrecy and anonymously that they're guaranteed, of course, this isn't true. Social Security is essential for millions of retirees. Therefore, destroying Social Security is the main target. If we want to hurt the maximum number of people, we need to hurt them there where they least expect it, their futures. Lending to those who can afford to repay was the main mistake. Under the new strategy, we will first knock down those who lend, such that there will be no one left to lend the money. APT variant viruses are designed to tamper with the blocks within the blockchain. A compromised blockchain is all we need to turn down any cryptocurrency-based system. Once public confidence in the safety of a blockchain is lost, you, you should expect a major impact on the markets. Destroy the entire global financial system is the only solution to speed up the paradigm shift. Cryptocurrencies do have but one and just one key advantage for them. They will allow the finance black projects in even a more secretive way. In fact, alternative coins and cryptocurrencies are also one of the black projects. 
Uh, we control the data flow. We control the blockchain. Next step is introducing crypto commodities. Ever heard of an artificial water? Compromising electrical power generation and distribution infrastructure should be handled in, an in, 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 in a way that before they get finally cut off, and which includes transportation networks, air traffic control systems, nuclear power plants, whatever, and the water supply and food production. Bringing everyday life globally to a sustained halt is the design go goal of these new persistent threats. The algorithm simulates the effect of m major water crisis, which triggers global food crisis, causing profound social instabilities. For each cycle, operations are devised to promote failure of a national governance, a rampant unemployment, staged interstate conflicts, large-scale involuntary migration, with migration being a weaponized way of flooding your enemies with a flood of migrants is just the tactic. Intermixed with all of this is the forced bursting of asset bubbles, the collapse of trading routes, the modulation of energy prices, the widespread cyber attack strategy against major infrastructures, and finally, pandemic are also be included. This is called the genetic scenario, the Chantilly genetic, excuse me, the Chantilly generic scenario, the Chantilly generic scenario. There's always a physical connection to the outside world and the internet, and there's always someone who will be on the wrong email attachment. Now, this conversation, we do not know who said it. This was done in the Bilderberg meeting. Now, you can get a list of the different people who was involved. But notice here what they're saying. The reason they want to stop, they, they know that cryptocurrency is a way to get around the current failure of the dollar. They know the dollar eventually is going to collapse and lose its uh, credibility, if you will. So that's why you're seeing people setting up cryptocurrencies. The people setting up cri cryptocurrencies are actually doing it from a position of trying to protect people's assets, protect people's money. They really are, and they're and they're good systems. Even some of them are very good. But the new world order knows this, and they're trying to come up with a way to break the blockchain. And so you're you're witnessing the battle of the beast right now. The battle of the beast, the new world order, is trying to come up with a way to break the backs of the American people and to bring about a desperate situation that would usher in the mark of the beast in these last days. Bilderberg is getting in position. George Soros and many of the others have started the protesting, started the confusion, they've started the uh, the anger, and they're trying to bring America to its knees and the rest of the world. They've started the process. But at Bilderberg, they're going to work on ways to cripple the American public. Now, it's already happened in Venezuela. It's already, and already you could, it could happen any day. Greece, Spain, Portugal, um, some of these nations that are already in Europe, they're on the edge, could go at any time. This is the rise of the beast. This may be what this sign, Revelation 12, we may wake up on September 24th and say, okay, we're here. So what was God trying to show us? His sign was perfect. There's two signs. The woman clove with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and the stars in her crown. And she gives birth to the man-child, the, the body of Christ. And she has to flee in the wilderness, and the church is the man-child, and the church gets attacked. But what was God trying to show us? Should we take another look at this Revelation 12? Was the beast, is the beast the reason for the sign? Well, the solar eclipse has come. 
the first of three signs, the president declared war the very day of the eclipse. A volcano erupted in Mexico, but three days later, here comes a storm of the millennium, maybe going to hit Texas and the Gulf states, while Bilderberg plots to destroy the supply chain of the American people and their assets and their futures. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Now, the Lord hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but of love and power and a sound mind. Folks, I'm telling you, give your life to Jesus Christ. Put your faith in the Lord. For the Lord hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. But in the last days, perilous times will come. That is a scripture. I can't get around it. In the last days, perilous times shall come. In the last days, it's going to be like it was in the days of Noah and in the days of Lot. I can't change the prophecy. In the last days, the latter days, the beast will rise with seven heads and ten horns. And Daniel said this beast had teeth like iron, ripping the ribs right out of the side of the other kingdoms. Are you saved? Pray for tonight. Pray one for another. Pray and give your life to Jesus Christ. Because, folks, I can promise you one thing. We are, without question, running out of time. I'll be back to you, be with you tomorrow live, 12 noon Eastern, with a complete broadcast. And I keep you up to speed with all the current world events as they relate to biblical prophecy. There's a catastrophic situation about to take place, a cataclysmic in the Gulf states. I pray guardian angels on all of you, in Jesus' name. Bilderberg. Bilderberg, the beast was sitting in Bilderberg.